Hello, I'm Rob and I'm from Skid Steer Genius. I'm here to show you the CB2000, which is our two channel output controller for CAN bus. It's got a seven pin trident on one end, which plugs directly into a Bobcat. And then it's got a Deutsch four pin on the other. What this does is it gives you two grounds and two outputs, which are controllable from inside the machine. And we've got this program so you can actually use four buttons. Two of the buttons will be latching and two of the buttons will be momentary. Inside our package, we have an instruction set and we have a pigtail that we supply now that allows you to wire this into your existing harness. So we open up this bag here, if I can. And what we have here is just a little pigtail and this is designed to plug directly into the end of the controller and then it allows you to wire this to your harnesses. Now we give you two grounds because sometimes there's split wires going in two different directions so it just makes it a lot easier for you. But you don't have to use it if you've got a single harness that only has three wires. One is a ground and two are controls. You don't have to use that extra ground. You can just put it aside or clip it off and just tape it back. So I'm just going to show you how this operates and how the programming, the, the specialty program that we have in this operates as well because it makes your life a whole lot easier when you're trying to run attachments. So I'm just going to show you how simple this is to use. With one end I've got my trident connector here, I plug it into my 7 pin. The other end, you can see it immediately starts to flicker, that's because I have my key on. So you can see what's going on and what that's doing is it's telling me, hey I'm ready to go. Uh, I've got power and I'm connected to the CAN bus so now I'm sending and receiving signals so I'm ready to roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach up and touch my B1 button. And if I touch it and just let it go, you'll see the status LED turns solid red. That means it's in the latch position, so it's actually permanently on until I touch the button again. If I don't want it to operate like this, all I do is touch the B2 button, which is the lower part of the left paddle, and as I touch it and take my hand off, you can see it comes on, goes off, comes on, goes off. Every time it goes off, you'll see this flickering, and that's just telling you, hey, I'm connected, everything's good. So we added this to all of our controllers, starting back probably about 2014, and the reason for that was just to help people with their status and so they knew exactly what was going on. So the same thing happens over if I reach over and touch C1. If I touch it, see that status LED goes solid green. I touch it again and I start to get a flicker. If I reach down to the lower part of that paddle, which is C2, and just touch it, you'll see I get green only as long as I'm holding the button down. And all that is is when I touch these buttons and you see that go solid, that just means that I've got constant power coming out one of these pins and that's just to allow me to turn attachments on and off if I don't want to actually have to operate something maybe I want to turn it off or turn it on I'm able to do that just with the controls no other controller does this there's a lot of knockoffs in the marketplace now that are trying to copy what we've done they're trying to base their whole business on our success and we're just light years ahead of them when it comes to these controls we've just been doing this for a really really long time and we know how to program these to, to get the different effects that we want to get. So this is really simple and straightforward. Here's what's going to happen now. Once, it's, once I've got it plugged in here, I can have this. This would be my harness going off to my attachment. This would be just wired into my attachment. And now I can easily operate the attachment as I go. Now remember, this does not, when I touch these buttons, and you see it changing status there, this does not start my pump. I still have to touch these buttons and then I reach over and I hit my pump status or my pump controller which is either the, the right toggle on the, um, the toggle on top of the right stick or the trigger button. And uh, I'm going to always place at the end of this a little control thing just so you can see that and just explain a little bit more about it. And that's pretty much it. So if you like what you see and you learn something give us a thumbs up on our uh, YouTube channel. Um, if there's any other questions, get a hold of us through the website or through email. We're happy to help out. And if you want us to make a special vi video, maybe send that request through to us through our website or through email. We're always looking for new ideas and we're always very creative people here. We're always trying to do new things. So your ideas are always welcome. Thanks very much.